Haruko Shinozaki has always harbored a crush on Akiho Kosaka ever since he has laid eyes on her. Now that they are in the same class, he finally musters up the courage to ask her out. Much to his surprise, Akiho says yes and reveals that he would be her first boyfriend, expressing her eagerness to make sure that she gets everything right. Her first request is to learn all 48 mating positions to please her boyfriend, revealing her weird nature. As Haruka heads home, he is met by his sister and his friend Shizuku, who has been like a second sister to him since they were born. She often plays the role of his pity girlfriend. Haruka decides he would tell them about his new girlfriend the next day. The following day at school, Akiho approaches Haruka and asks him about his sexual fantasies, as she has heard that not knowing what their partner likes is a common reason for relationships to fail. However, Haruka assures her that he is not like that. After class, Haruka helps Akiho carry some books to the office, and while expressing her gratitude, Akiho refers to him as a pig bastard in an attempt to arouse him. Haruka is taken aback by Akiho's intense behavior, as he always thought of her as docile. Haruka's next challenge comes in the form of Shizuku, who becomes overly friendly with him in a sexual manner upon learning about his new relationship. She is determined to mess with Haruka, and influences Akiho to be even more sexually intense. Akiho, who is accustomed to achieving success in various endeavors, finds herself facing a new challenge, an inexperienced foray into her first romantic relationship. Determined to make it a success, she is willing to put in all her effort and dedication to ensure that things go smoothly. As Haruka and Akiho are leaving school, she once again tries to arouse him by pretending to fall on Haruka and sitting on him. However, she assures her that she is perfect just the way she is and doesn't need to resort to such actions. Haruka helps her realize that she shouldn't be influenced by anyone and that their relationship should flow naturally. In the end, he offers to walk her home from school and Akiho gladly accepts, looking forward to their journey together. On their way home, it starts to rain and Haruka kindly offers to share his umbrella with Akiho, but she feels a bit uncomfortable with this idea. Instead, they end up running back home in the rain, getting drenched in the process. Haruka becomes worried that Akiho may catch a cold and is eager to talk to her about it. However, their conversation is interrupted by Haruka's little sister, Kanata, who becomes instantly jealous upon learning about Akiho's presence. The next day, Kanata finally meets Haruka's girlfriend, which only seems to worsen the situation as Akiho misunderstands their sibling's relationship. However, during lunch, Haruka clears up the misunderstanding and assures her that Kanata is just being protective. After school, Akiho watches a TV show that suggests making a homemade bento lunch for one's boyfriend. However, she realizes that she lacks the skills in cooking. The next day at school, Akiho comes with a homemade lunch for Haruko, which is not even edible. Fortunately, Shizuku, who is known for her excellent cooking skills, discovers them having lunch and offers to join in. Akiho asks Shizuku to teach her cooking, and she agrees. They all go to Shizuku's house for dinner, where she shares some words of advice and makes some playful double meaning jokes. Despite some initial challenges, Akiho manages to cook a delicious beef stew with Shizuku's guidance. After dinner, Haruka walks Akiho home in the rain again, and this time she is willing to share the umbrella with him, although Akiho is still slightly uncomfortable. She remembers hearing that boys like seeing wet clothes, so Akiho initially prefers being drenched in the rain. However, she ultimately decides to share the umbrella with Haruka, as it is what he wants. The act of sharing the umbrella with him brings them closer, and Akiho feels a sense of warmth and intimacy as they walk through the rain together. Akiho excitedly informs her parents that her first ever boyfriend, Haruka, will be coming over to meet them. She then leaves to gather supplies for dinner, and her father, Natsuo, goes for a walk to calm his nerves. However, Haruka arrives earlier than expected, catching Akiho's mother, Fuyumi, home alone. Fuyumi warmly welcomes Haruka and begins to entertain him. As they chat, Haruka starts to feel increasingly uncomfortable. Soon, he realizes where Akiho's relaxed attitude towards sexual topics might have originated from as her mother casually asks him about family planning. While outside the house, Akiho's father reminisces about his childhood and his perfect wife who was very keen about her daughter's education, although the education was usually sexual. As Natsuo and Akiho arrive home, Haruka meets Akiho's father and wins his approval with his modest and gentle demeanor. They all share a pleasant dinner together, setting a positive tone for the evening. Not long after, Akiho and Haruka go on their first date to the movies. However, Akiho finds herself preoccupied with researching about couples and love positions throughout the entire date. Afterward, Akiho realizes that she was too caught up in the research to be present and truly enjoyed the time with Haruka. Worried, she shares her concerns with Haruka, who reassures Akiho by inviting her to see the cherry blossoms with him the following week. Unfortunately, the next day at school, Akiho falls sick from staying awake all night thinking about her next date. Haruka takes her to the nurse's room to wait for her mother to pick Akiho up. Her mother arrives and takes her home to rest. On the day of their planned cherry blossom date, she is feeling better, so Haruka set out to see the cherry blossoms with Akiho. 
However, they're disappointed to find that the rain from the previous day has ruined the blossoms. Akiho starts to feel upset, but Haruka comforts her, assuring Akiho that they can try again next year. Her spirits lift as she realizes that Haruka wants them to still be together after a year, and Akiho becomes genuinely happy at the thought. A stunningly beautiful girl named Rina Saijo, with flowing hair and a graceful demeanor, transfers to Haruka and Akiho's mixed-gender school from the prestigious all-girls Shirogane Academy. She quickly befriends Haruka, Akiho, and Shizuku, drawn to their warmth and kindness, and eagerly seeks their advice on how to form a successful male-female relationship. Intrigued by Rina's sincerity and earnestness, they happily agree to help her. After contemplating a lot, Rina suggests a trip to the zoo to deepen their understanding of each other. Haruka experiences a whirlwind of emotions at the zoo. On one hand, he feels thrilled to be with Akiho, causing excitement to course through him. On the other hand, Haruka is embarrassed due to the ambiguous remarks coming from both Rina and Shizuku, who is notorious for her playful teasing. Despite his initial flustered state, Haruka tries to maintain his composure while observing the wildlife. Akiho, on the other hand, with her big curious eyes and unwavering fascination, is deeply absorbed in the mating behaviors of the animals. As fate would have it, Akiho's parents also happen to be visiting the zoo that day. Her mother displays a similar keen interest in the breeding behaviors of animals as Akiho. Her presence provides an insight into where Akiho may have inherited her curiosity and passion for animal mating and breeding prowess. Finally, as the day comes to a close, Shizuku takes her leave, departing with Rina, leaving Akiho and Haruka alone. The sun casts a golden glow as the lovebirds start to walk home together, their hearts fluttering with the warmth of their growing affection for each other. Haruka, feeling emboldened by their budding relationship, summons his courage and offers his hand to Akiho, hoping to hold it as a gesture of intimacy. However, to his surprise, Akiho, despite her earlier display of interest in intense relationships, blushes and seems shy. The following day at school, Rina Saijo ecstatically announces to everyone that she has successfully convinced her doting mother to finally get her a stylish and sleek cell phone. With a glimmer in her eyes, she eagerly shows Akiho the latest phone etiquette, including the importance of asking someone what kind of fashionable panties they are wearing, much to Haruko's embarrassment. However, he, being the ever-helpful friend, patiently guides Rina on how to take the perfect selfie and expertly apply trendy face filters, much to her sheer delight. She then proceeds to prance through the bustling halls, proudly proclaiming to everyone how Haruka has helped Rina capture her first ever facial photo, causing him to be shocked and feel a tad embarrassed in front of the entire school. Meanwhile, Akiho, in her unwavering determination to improve the relationship with Haruka, tries her best to anticipate his every need and desire. However, Akiho's well-intentioned efforts end up backfiring, making Haruka appear thoughtless and inconsiderate. Everyone at school thinks as if he is taking advantage of Akiho's kindness by making her do everything for him. Later, Rie and Shizuku try to join the chaos by guessing Haruka's feelings. However, their attempts at helping Akiho also fall short, resulting in a series of comedic misadventures. To further add to the mayhem, during a class representative's meeting, Akiho boldly suggests the urgent need for a more robust and comprehensive sex education program at school, igniting a flurry controversy and confusion among the students and faculty alike. The next day at school, Akiho suddenly develops a persistent case of hiccups that simply won't abate. Despite Haruko's valiant efforts to help her, the hiccups just do not seem to go away. Finally, he tries to stop them by inducing a sneeze, but their actions are misconstrued by Shizuku. She mistakenly believes that they are engaging in some mischievous activities. However, the misunderstanding is cleared once Haruko finally manages to help Akiho. Funnily enough, Shizuku herself develops hiccups, starting a cycle of comedic misfortunes that continue to unfold in their daily lives at school. Haruko catches sight of Akiho talking to Seiya Hoshikawa, the charismatic heartthrob of their school. Worried that Akiho might be taken in by Seiya's charm, Haruko musters up his courage and approaches them to find out what's going on. To his surprise, he learns that Seiya is seeking Akiho's help in making friends with boys as he struggles in that area. Akiho eagerly agrees to help and suggests that Seiya become friends with her boyfriend. Haruka is relieved and happy to help Seiya out. However, Akiho's initial excitement turns into horror as she notices Seiya taking a keen interest in Haruka, plunging her into a state of panic every time she sees them together. Akiho worries that Seiya's interest in Haruka might threaten her relationship with him, leading to misunderstandings and confusion. Meanwhile, as the inner class softball tournament approaches, Haruka is determined to impress Akiho. However, his pitching skills are subpar, with the ball constantly wearing to the right. Despite Akiho's reassurances, Haruka remains unconvinced. He tries his hand at batting, but doesn't fare well either. Fortunately, Seiya comes to his aid and offers some advice on how to hold the bat, which Haruka eagerly accepts. Akiho stumbles upon them practicing in secret and becomes anxious, misinterpreting their interactions and feeling threatened by Seiya's involvement. 
During the tournament, Haruka is determined to prove himself to Akiho, but his efforts backfire as he accidentally hits Seiya in a sensitive spot with one of his batting attempts. The tournament doesn't go as planned for Haruka, but he remains determined to make things right. After the tournament, Haruka meets up with Akiho to clear up all misunderstandings, and is relieved to find that she still likes him and appreciates his efforts. Akiho is also happy to know that Haruka was trying to impress her and was thinking about her even during the baseball game, resolving their misunderstandings and reaffirming their relationship. And on this positive note, our recap comes to an end. I wonder what other silly adventures are awaiting our crazy couple, Haruka and Akiho. Let us know in the comments what you think, and I guess we'll find out in the next episodes. As always, thanks for watching, drop us a like, subscribe to Anime Soreo, and click that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest uploads. With that said, we'll see you in the next one. Peace!